one architecture, Java, connecting everyone to everything. I am biased to some frameworks more than others, and I'll let you know at the end, and I'll try and keep it from affecting the comparison. Flex actually uh, develops a Flash website, and uh, it's backed by Adobe with money and research. You can see Picnic.com is a pretty good example of what's possible, which is amazing. The cons are that it's not so search engine friendly. You know, indexing is difficult sometimes. Um, it has some issues with presenting HTML, especially old HTML. And uh, printing, uh, printing pages for the user can sometimes be difficult. The JSF framework is actually the Java E standard, which is a pretty good thing, usually. It means there's a lot more jobs for JSF, for instance, and it's backed by Java. Um, it has a lot of ease to get started and to get going. It's got tons of components and component libraries. The cons are that it's in JSP and it kind of looks ugly and difficult to code in that area, especially if you're not used to it. Um, it has difficulty with REST and security. Now, REST and security were solved with Seam, and in fact, Seam is a full stack, and it allows you to use EJB3, uh, which is your database, even, I think, Hibernate, um, and just plug it in really easily with uh, JSF with very little code to glue the two together to get them all set up. It's just fully uh, working. So if you're going to look at JSF, I would suggest you look at Seam as well. Rails is similar to Ruby on Rails. Uh, the scripting is Groovy based and uh, it's similar to Python in scripting, not in syntax. It's very similar to Java, especially in syntax and certainly in certain philosophies. It uses Spring and Hibernate, so it's really got a full stack and it um, purports to have fewer lines of code. Now it is scripting, so one of the cons is if you're not used to it, you have to get used to it a little bit. Um, it's not as good as the frameworks that it's based off of, for instance, you know, Ruby on Rails directly. Um, and it is still less known than other frameworks. GWT is actually made by Google, and it's Java that gets translated into JavaScript. You write in just standard Java, and uh, it's on the client, which means if the person loses internet connection, they can still use the app. The con of the JavaScript, well, there is none. It's actually, I understand, translated quite well. But it is difficult to attach, which means if you're in the middle of a project and now you switch to GWT, I do think it will require a lot of code being written into the middle of your existing code, which can be difficult. Now, the con of client side is that, well, how big is your app? Do you need a lot of connectivity to the database? Do you want sessions stored on the server? These things, you have to decide where is the data going to be stored, on the web browser or on your server? and who do you want to have the most control on everything. The Wicked Web Framework is just regular Java, pretty much. It separates view and logic. That's because the view is just regular HTML with only a Wicked ID, which is just a tag so the logic in Java can reference the HTML components. Component reuse is quite amazing. Um, you can just insert already coded login panels or you can extend components. There's a lot of activity on the mailing list and IRCs. Um, and Ajax is actually, a lot of things are actually built into Wicked components. It's quite easy to use. Uh, the con is that it's primarily Java, which means if you do like Ajax and JavaScript, it sometimes doesn't always look the prettiest. Uh, HTML and Java file locations live side by side. You can change that, but by default, it's not the greatest. And the job market with Wicked isn't going so well because it's not as well known as other frameworks like uh, JSF. Tapestry is quite interesting. My biggest problem with it is backwards compatibility. Every year or two, there's just a whole new rewrite, and a lot of code gets lost, and migrating, as I understand, can be quite difficult. But uh, hopefully that has changed or will change, and you should still look into it. There's really not just one framework. It depends what you're good at, what you're used to, what you're trying to do. I personally am really a Java programmer at heart, and only one-tenth of my career is really in the web. So I am going to lean towards programming in Java, and if you hadn't noticed, I am actually biased in Wicked, and I think Wicked is amazing. I think Wicked is how programming uh, should be done for the Internet, primarily because it's so object-oriented in its design, and I think it solves a lot of the problems.
that JavaScript and JSB really do have. Of course, that's my opinion, and I am biased, and I'm not a fan of JavaScript or Ajax, but I know lots of people are, and I do think it's an amazing technology, but I am biased. Java is everywhere.